So the question is, should you fear non-Jehovah's Witness information? And I will answer that question by saying, no, you shouldn't. As a matter of fact, you should welcome that information because honestly, if you are a Jehovah's Witness or have been a Jehovah's Witness, have you really fact-checked what was printed in the magazines? When you start doing that and fact-checking the governing body, you soon realize that they were very dishonest with you. And so once that kind of bubble is popped and you're no longer living in that JW bubble, it just kind of opens up a whole world of beliefs and information that's out there. And that's a good thing because then it becomes your personalized journey. And really, you make the truth your own. You, the witnesses used to say that, make the truth your own. And that still applies even after you leave the religion. You make the truth your own. You do that by your own research and investigation. And you should question often your beliefs and if they can't stand up to critical thinking or um, honest criticism then it's time to really question what you believe in and there's nothing wrong with that discarding something and starting from scratch or something to that effect but should you fear non-Jehovah's Witness information to that I say no.